Hey guys, Jason here with Dead Let Air. We're going to go ahead today and do the hot rod cooling system for the Young Hang air compressor. I apologize for the tweets in the background. Those are our uh, new chickies. Um, we lost almost all of our chickens to um, predators the last few nights. So, um, at any rate, we're taking care of that problem, stupid raccoons. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna template out this because you have to screw into the back here. So we're gonna template this out and we're gonna leave enough room for another one just in case this one doesn't get it cool enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure with the amount of runtime I use it for that we're gonna have plenty of cooling. But just in case, we're gonna go ahead and leave room for a second one. We have the holes drilled already for the pump, so this is already pretty well set up except for doing the template here. This is easy, obviously there's holes here, you just take and you screw it in, you know, if you, or you uh, mark it, center punch it, and drill it out, and there you go. So this is an aluminum, I will put a parts list together for you guys, but before you watch the rest of the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, guys. Um, I promised you the hot rodding out of this uh, coolant system. Uh, we're not going to paint this right away because I have some uh, burnt orange or burnt bronze color coming for this to be powder coated. So we'll get it all together and running because um, we're going to be using the compressor a lot coming up here pretty quick because we have a bunch of accessories that came in for the FX, well not a bunch, we have two, um, for the FX um, Panthera. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this party started, guys. Let me go ahead. And so to be able to find these holes with, you know, there's no way to reach through, and you don't wanna disassemble this because this is all put together with, um, rivets. I really don't want to tear it apart. What I'm going to do make a template out of tape. Cut it out and that'll give us the outer edge that we want to do, use for the uh, poke the holes in it. That'll give us our outer edge and then it'll also give us the inside cut we need. Cause I'll cut this out. We'll follow it here with my nice razor sharp knife. And but this is the easiest way I've found to do this. Um, so we're just coating the back of it here, and then we'll poke holes in it, and then we'll mark the holes where it needs to be drilled, and draw where it needs to be cut out with the plasma cutter, and then. We'll be done with that. Put it on the Good, there'll be room for a second one.
All right, guys. We'll go ahead and do the first cut here and then reconfigure. You should wear all PPE at all times. All right, guys, so now I'll clean it up with a wire brush. We'll get it put in there and uh, see how she looks. I think that whole... It's going to be too much of a pain in the butt for right now. So we're going to go with what we got. Or putting all the screws on that front of the water tank because it's all gonna get uh, it's all going to get redone when we uh, paint it. So this is this is just pre-assembly. See how well it works. See if we need another fan. And that's that. So we're gonna run the heat, the hot water here, hose to the top of the tank. The pump was gonna, is gonna be down here. And that is going, there's gonna be a hose going down into the pump. Pump's gonna pump off this side and into the coolant reservoir, another line, or into the pump, to come in here to the top side of the radiator. So, and then it'll blow through the back side there. We'll get this wired up with just some temporary 12 volt right now, because like I said, I'm not gonna do anything permanent until I know for a fact that this is what's going to work for this cooler, or if I need a, a second radiator or not. So, um, have all the other wiring stuff indoors. I'll go in there, get that started, get the flow system hooked up with this pipe, and bring you guys back here in a second, all right? Okay, guys. So we went ahead and finished this up. I have it running right now. 
you can hear it's not very loud at all. Um, the thermostat is pretty cool. It's a fish tank thermostat on the aluminum can, um, reservoir. And we have just under a gallon of water going through here. And the exchange rate on this pump is a gallon and a half um, per minute. So 60 gall 65 gallons an hour is what it said it does. So, um, yeah, it's just, I think it's going to work really well. Um, obviously, that's the temperature of the house, or this room in here right now, 70.3 degrees. So, um, I don't foresee it getting much hotter than that. Like I said, we are going to go ahead and add another set of fans here. So, this line, or this line will just get cut and go down into the top of the radiator and then the bottom of the radiator will come up and into here and that'll just give us um, number one more fluid in the system two twice as much cooling and then also this cap was going to be is going to be fit with um, the, the little drink bottle ice cubes um, so it'll go in here, and like I said, this is just 100% pure distilled water, no coolant in the system. I don't want it. Um, in case there's a leak or something, I don't want it getting on my workstation or my pets to get into it or my kid to get into it. So this is 100% distilled water with um, red and yellow food dye to get the color I wanted. So we'll go ahead and add an additional um, cooling system cooling fan and radiators to the whole setup and I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Again, God bless and keep that air dry.